I usually describe it as sort of like a kid in a candy shop. You take your dip net and you scoop a couple times. We first look and it just looks like there's just specks of dirt. And then you look closer and then you realize those specks are moving around and swimming and stuff. And then you start to see all this life in the pool, even with just, you know, one or two scoops of this little aquarium net. You'll find them, you know, just bursting with all these species and then a couple weeks later they're gone. And so I think of them as being these really magical places. Vernal pools have been referred to by some as the coral reefs of northern forests. Just like coral reefs, they're thought of as keystone ecosystems because of the critical role that they play for a number of these different species. It may just look like a mud puddle. It may just look like this pond that just kind of dries out. But there's a lot more going on in these ponds that you may not see. It's actually really critically important to a whole bunch of creatures. There are four in Michigan that we consider to be vernal pool indicator or obligate species that either only occur in vernal pools or really depend on them for their survival. Those are fairy shrimp, wood frogs, spotted salamanders, and blue spotted salamanders. There's many examples within biology of things you can't see that are taking place. I mean, there's nothing quite as exciting as, as like pulling out this trap that's just filled with you know, all these salamanders kind of writhing around. Because you encounter them so rarely in the greater environment, it's kind of fun to be able to see so many all in one place. There have been studies done where they have found the abundance of salamanders in forests to be more abundant than even some of the insects. So they're a really important part of the food web and part of the ecosystem. You have this one chance to see them so concentrated in one area. You know, in a couple of days, they'll be headed back into this environment and uh, go about their lives eating, you know, the little creatures they find underneath the ground and, and logs. In a year from now, they'll be ready to party and head back on down to the ponds and we'll get a chance to see them again. I want people to find value in these things that may not look like they have that much value. Without these ponds, you know, these salamanders can't survive. Some of these frogs can't survive. It may not look like much, but they're important. So wherever we can conserve them, wherever we can protect them and the areas around them, we can also protect these unique species. <laughs>